Yay Networks. Welcome back to another Spill the Beans podcast. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. Today 8? is Vlogmas Day 8. Oh, you eight. did the math? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, what, 8? <laughs> yep, it's Vlogmas Day 8, guys. How insane is that? We're already almost halfway through December. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. November was a blur. I feel like we didn't even enjoy the, you know, the fall Thanksgiving vibes. And Christmas is going to be around the corner. Yep. We're very excited for that, guys. I'm but, ex- oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I said, like, it's going by fast. Like, I'm excited for Christmas because of our compadres baby girls coming. Oh, my God. But I'm also not because then January comes and then I don't really like January. She's literally doing it in less than three weeks. But now I like, no, now I like January even less because it's our baby boy's birthday and he's growing up too fast i know but we're so excited and before we start the podcast you guys already know we have a competition and shout outs so guys <laughs> let's babe go. tell them what happened last week oh my god we were so embarrassed because jonathan was telling me that we got a bunch of comments saying i'm so stupid well if you ask siri to pick from a number between one and three the only one there is is two and i was like oh that makes so much sense we didn't get it at the time but i guess that you just have to change the wording so we tried it out and i told them just say pick a number from one to three yeah Siri's a little between. picky girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So obviously it's going to be two. So yeah, that was a little bit of a fail and it was rigged. Pero no pasa nada. We'll just do it again today. Okay, guys. We have some... Fr- okay, so uh, guys, I chose the Christmas trees this week. And so Blanca hasn't seen any of them. And this week's the ones I clicked on. Oh my God, baby. They're, they're fire. They're so good. Let me see. They're so unique. Ready? Yes. Christmas tree number one is from jacqueline g and here it is let me see <gasps> wow that's very cute i like the green i like anything um don't you think that's what you would have done last year y- yeah and i like anything on, on a flocked tree i just think flock trees are so beautiful yeah hence our skinny podcast tree yeah that one's really cute mm-hmm. good job and then this one guys this one is a Mickey Mouse tree, and it's <gasps> from Elena Gonzalez. Oh, my gosh. She I never thought of out. that. When I was thinking about doing Mickey Mouse, I never thought of just putting stuffed animals. I'm like, where would you find Mickey Mouse ornaments? This is so freaking cute. And then I went <gasps> on her previous messages, and she did her whole yard Mickey oh, Mouse. Oh, is that the one that has yeah. the huge inflatables? Yeah wow you are literally a queen this is the type of um mom i wanted to be this year yeah but maybe next year we can go a little bit more out and then this last one babe is so freaking unique it's from another unique name shekina (laughs) s-h-e-k-i-n-a-h shakira shakira no sorry if we mispronounced your name you have a very unique name but look at this it's literally coco themed i think like mariachi <gasps> guitars oh that's cute sombreros like it's just beautiful like it's a lot like it's like if a mariachi brand threw up on it but like it's yeah. not overwhelming and i really like the tree itself like i want a tree like this because what? ours is a little bit embarrassing it's like the <laughs> one i showed you from the girl do you see the sticks up here it's like the one that oh, um whitney it's ours had. Is just like it's gone through it you know ours was just not the vibes i don't even know where we bought it do you know big lots yeah i think it was yeah don't big buy lots. trees from big lots look at ours guys it's freaking sad <laughs> okay so those were the three trees guys honestly they're all beautiful if i could pick i i I couldn't that's why we're doing the whole siri thing yeah do it okay ready so So, make sure from one to three okay hey siri Mm -hmm. pick a number from one to three 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 sheesh mariachi band girl one (laughs) And her name is, you go try to pronounce it, babe. I think it's Shakina. Shakina. <laughs> why are you laughing? I, it's like, how do you print? Like, Shakina? did I fail language arts or why can I not put things together? 
I think yeah, it's maybe my ADHD. There's... Maybe. Or my that dyslexia. is so cute. Can you message us and tell us what tree and where you got it from? Yeah, because and I also really DM like us it. for your 50 bucks. Yeah, girl. Congrats. Congratulations. Um, and then lastly, guys, we're going to go quickly into our business segment. We got Sanmar Beauty. Hi, Blanca and Jonathan. My name is Ruby, and I've been following you guys for three years now. I have been loving to see you guys transition from just you two to now amazing parents to Franco. Mm. I just wanted to share a bit about my small business, Sanmar Beauty underscore. I'm a lash tech wanting to get more exposure and clientele. I know I really don't send you guys. I know I, re I can't really send you guys anything, but when it comes to it and if Blanca's in town, parentheses, Chicago suburbs, I'll be Sheesh. happy to give her a full set. Would Very appreciate good. the shout out. Hope to meet you guys one day. Thank you, Ruby. I'll appreciate a lash set too. <laughs> she, I, we actually have quite a few followers from Chicago. Yeah, so if you guys lot. are listening to this, hit her up for your lashes. Yeah, hit her up, guys. Suburbs in Chicago, let's go. And then lastly, Ideal Creations by Jess. Good morning, Blank and Jonathan. Hope all is well. That's amazing that you guys are giving small businesses shout outs. I'm a small business here in Denver, Colorado. I'm a stay at home mom and I make custom cups and more. I actually made Blanca custom Hershey bars for her meet and greet with Simply Fashion. Oh. Here's a screenshot of my small business. Thank you. I in still advance. have it. I saved oh, it. Oh, yeah. We remember you, girl. I saved it. It's yeah, literally thank you right so there. much. Yeah. It's Hershey bar. Here's the business, guys. So go ahead and give her a shout out. I mean, <laughs> go like and follow yeah, her. Guys, she made page. some dope. It was like Hershey's bar, like, like if it was a purse, right? Like on a chain. Yep. And, and they're like, they were pink and they said my name. Yeah. Blanca Jake's Simply Fashion. That was so dope. cute. I was so cute that I haven't ate it. Ate it? Yeah. Yeah, right? I haven't. I remember her because I think she messaged me because she was like, your line was super long, right? Oh. So she was like at the very back. Or I think I, when I was doing B-roll, she I went outside and then she's like, hey, I made these for Blanca. They're chocolates. Like, I don't want to cut or anything, but I'm scared that they're going to melt. Oh. And I was like, nah, girl, like, come here. And I took her all the way to, and, like, inside to the front. And then she gave them to you. And I was like, just stick around. They and, were like, you don't so have to get freaking line, cute. You know? I'm going to eat them one day when they're expired. You still have it? <laughs> yes. And you haven't eaten it? No, it's right there. Why would you eat it? Just keep it <laughs> at that point. Because I freaking love Hershey bars with almonds. Okay, guys, hopefully that went by much smoother. Blanca was like, hey, you need to chop it up on the Christmas tree <laughs> and the business shout outs because there's people that have, like, a time limit to get to work or to school or break or something. So hopefully that went by smoother, guys. Thank you. Let's get it started on Vlogmas Day 8. How crazy is that? Podcast Day 8. Today, while you're watching this, Jonathan and I are running like turkeys with their heads cut off because chickens. Chickens. Not turkeys. Oh, <laughs> se me quedó el antojo de turkey. We are at our baby shower, baby. Isn't that insane? <gasps> like, when you're we're watching at our this? baby shower. Well, not at our baby shower, but we are getting everything ready and prepped for if it. If you're watching this at night for some reason. We're partying right now. We're partying right now. <laughs> so it is our baby shower day, guys. I cannot believe that it's here already. I remember when I was planning it, I was like, oh, it's kind of far, but I kind of do want to do it in December. I don't want to do it in January. So we had a lot of back and forth talk about going through February, January, December, and we ended up doing it in December. We did it for Franco and it worked out so smooth, especially because I think it's such good memories to have on Vlogmas. It's just happy memories, you know? So I ended up doing it this weekend and I'm so excited. I mean, I hope I'm having a good time, to be honest. But Yeah, I hope you're having a good time, too. Babe. Yeah, guys, I'm getting glammed by Noemi, my comadre. She offered, she's like, hey, what can I help you with? What can I take out of your hands? And I was like, can you please just glam me? She glammed me for Franco's baby shower, my maternity pictures, and she's glammed me quite a few times. So really? I'm glad I don't have to do my own makeup. That's good, babe. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice that you did decide. Because honestly, me guys, I was like, let's just do it in January or February. But then I'm glad we listened to you because like it's baby shower. It's like a hectic month, right? It was like Thanksgiving, baby shower, Christmas, Noemi's and Luis's baby, New Year's. And then, but like after December, it's like a smooth sailing, you know? Yeah. I mean, we have Franco's birthday party, but like... That's like on the fun side. It's yeah, not stressful. It's not stressful. And then we can just wait for our baby girl. So Yeah. And also, um, we are gonna start right after 
this baby shower after this weekend we're gonna start making franco's room into franco's room actually like making his little floor bed and jonathan's gonna start kind of warming him up into sleeping in there by himself which he won't even have to do for the first couple of months when baby girl's here because you're gonna sleep in there with him babe but, do you think i should like make that a tiktok series yeah <laughs> well what do you call that like um como, like you know when you on take the boob away from a baby what's it called weaning weaning what would it be like putting well, him in his own bed it could be sleep training my toddler sleep training my toddler yeah there we yeah go. so basically that is our plan guys um i know that we always talk and nothing really goes as planned but we are really really hoping to stick to this basically i was just telling jonathan like when baby girl gets here i'm and we experience this with franco i'm gonna be doing all of the night wakings because she she's gonna be breastfeeding i'm gonna exclusively breastfeed again for up to six months and while i'm doing that like i want to be the only one that's sleep deprived you know i don't want franco to be sleep deprived and i don't want you to be sleep deprived because you're gonna have to you know hang out with franco and like take care of him and help in that aspect so our plan is to get franco a full floor bed a full-size floor bed and put like his paw patrol or mickey mouse whatever he goes for and just have jonathan sleep in there with him for the yeah. first like three ish months until you i can start sleep training baby girl um but hopefully by that time like yes on three months jonathan can sneak out of the room if you want to yeah, come and sleep with hopefully me again. like if you have if you've gone through this guys we would really appreciate not only in the comments but also like a dm to spill the beans instagram on how you did it we would love to know because i don't think this will take i don't think at all i'm saying and i'm praying to god i don't think this will take a toll on our relationship no because you and i are pretty comfortable with like that you know yeah. we're not really touchy touchy people yeah you know like oh i have to sleep you know like that oh sh really no babe? no like, i do i do and i appreciate it <laughs> but, but it i mean won't like hurt the relationship no no there's people that like oh if i don't get to sleep with you then like whoa, well and you know? we don't even like for the first couple months i don't even let jonathan touch me like yeah. i am so traumatized from my freaking vagina down there that i'm like do not even come near me and you're traumatized too from seeing like yeah. all the blood and stuff so the first couple of months like jonathan would either sleep on the rocking chair or in the guest room and so this time around we have like a good set in stone plan especially because right now jonathan is such a huge help with our night routine i used to be able to do it all obviously like shower him put him to bed do all of this and right now i just can't put franco to no, sleep. no babe don't say everything say that we switched i used <laughs> to shower him or take more often and Sometimes. then you would sleep him now you shower him because i sleep him well, but when he was like little i would do all of it yeah because but, he yeah. fit in your hands yeah and he's right now he's it. way too big and and you had a boob and i had a boob and when i try to put him to sleep it just doesn't work out like he just wants to be present in the cuddling sesh but he doesn't want to go to sleep jonathan can put him to sleep in two minutes like it's yeah, insane guys. it's so funny our friends marco and kaylee were over yesterday and we were explaining to them how franco he like what's the word Res would it be respect or not because fear is too strong i think it's because i told my friends i was like obviously i've never hit franco nor will i ever because you know that's just something me and blanca agreed on from the get-go yeah. we're not gonna hit our kids until they're like 15 and they do something stupid then una cachetada, you know oh, but like little we're talking and um so but like if if he's on the stairs like he's not supposed to because he can fall if blanca's like get down from there or something like he laughs and screams and then when i'll be like i'll get up from my eye boy and he comes running down the stairs he's like okay okay but like why you know like i, I think I've never it's done just anything established that you're the stern parent and i've told jonathan this before like there's always in every single parentship there is a strict parent and a lenient parent and the kids just know who to get away with it could be the guy or it could be the girl we know a lot of guys that are like super lenient and the kids so, don't yeah. um like it's the mom. don't react to them that way and then they're scared of their mom so uh, jonathan definitely took on that role that role from the get-go i feel like i don't know i think it's but my point is that i i want to say uh, what i'm saying this for is that it also transitions into like other things like sleeping yeah showering uh going out to eat uh going to the store yeah. by ourselves like the other day blanca was at target with him and she you know he was going crazy and stuff but it's if it's only me and him at target he behaves so well yeah i think he just knows who he can get away with and when the sleeping more, at night most. recently it's been like you try to put him to sleep and he starts going crazy or he's like mama and you i still like i can hear you like laughing or yeah. telling reading him a, like uh, telling him a story i'm like 
No, and with me, I put him in my armpit. I count his fingers. Le digo, you know, este pollito te hizo un huevito. You know, <laughs> like that story. And then, yeah, like he falls asleep in 10 minutes. And you don't have to rock him. Like no. he just falls asleep. And I have to be there like. And sometimes shh. like I, he'll sleep with his toys. Like yesterday, babe, he grabs his toys, right? And I can tell he's like on the side, me está haciendo menso, but he's playing with the toys like this. <laughs> so then I grab them. I grab the toys and then I los acuesto. I'm like, ya se va a dormir la cebra y ya se va a dormir el león, okay? Y cierre sus ojos y ya se va a dormir. Yeah, like he knocks out. <laughs> oh, but you just have to be like so stern, cute. but like sweet. Like I'm not, I'm not like, no le quito los juguetes. I throw them. Ya don't you know? Yeah. No, I like, ya se va a dormir la cebra, ya se va a dormir. And that's just how it is. I see a lot of TikTok moms do say that too. Like, they're like, when I go to put my baby down for bed and then he's all screaming, crying, throwing up. And then when my husband goes and puts him down for bed and then the husband comes down and is like, you struggled with that, you know? And <laughs> it's just true. Like this one parent is usually the one that can that can get well the stern parent the one that can get the baby to do the things that they actually have to do and with me franco you know he just knows he can get a lot he can get away with a lot so thankfully like in that sense it's been amazing like sometimes jonathan and i sleep in the way where like we're sleeping together and then franco's on the side but then sometimes we do the sleep where franco's cuddling with jonathan and i'm on the side because i get super tired like sleeping and having franco close to me and if franco is like near jonathan he sleeps all night does not wake up whatsoever but if he sleeps next to me he wakes up he like gets up and like talks in his sleep <laughs> he like cries and like makes sure he can cuddle me so i'm like i think this is gonna be good because franco's very like he feels very safe with you and he sleeps a lot better with you anyway so yeah i'm trying not to be i hate how this turned into like parent talk when yeah. we were supposed to do baby shower but let, let's just get this out the way i don't want to be the stern parent babe like forever you know, right now it's fine. I'll take on the role. But I we've seen, and we were talking about this the other day, Blanca, uh, Blanca and I. And also, you guys can chime in and, like, kind of reflect on your own life with your relationship with your parents. I feel like the best parent to kid relationship is when they're genuinely friends yeah. and i think that's why mexican households are so toxic because que nos dicen, what do our parents tell us when we're growing up well at least my parents would be like yo no soy tu amigo yo no soy tu amiga i'm yeah. your parent you're gonna respect me so then you don't do friend things you don't tell your who you're talking to like who you like at school you don't yeah. talk that when your friends offered you drugs you don't talk about you know like friend things yeah. so you just view them as a parent and that's why i told blanca i was like I was like, fuck what people say. I don't want to be a parent. I want to be a friend. Yeah. As bad as that sounds, guys, and I know, I know, like, my kid is still going to respect me. I, I draw the line where, like, the kid's, like, I've seen, you know, son and dad relation with, like, the, the, the son's like, oh, you're a bitch, dad. And that's like, nah, nah, I'm poco, <laughs> Not you know? That but like I wanted a, a to, like. a friend with a lot of boundaries. Yeah, like, a good, respectful friend. And it's like, that's what I want. I don't want, like, a f solid and fun dad. <laughs> solid and <laughs> <Sother, laughs> fun. Oh, my God. I told you guys, I told you I have dyslexia or ADHD, whatever you just experienced. <laughs> Sother and fun. And Blanca does not believe me. She thinks I'm trying to be a pick me boy when I tell her that I mix my words. I've never said Anyways, I don't believe um, you. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good way. I think that it's just, I don't know, for moms i think it comes very naturally to be nurturing and to be understanding and to be like want to be your kids friends and for dads it's just not like your hormones don't change your like your body doesn't change you know like you have to adapt to being a dad so i feel like slowly but surely you'll get into the like the good balance of being stern and a friend you know? yeah because you don't know like franco is your first time ever being a dad so you yeah, don't know but what I also to do experience it with your sisters and sometimes because her sisters live here with those guys and i'm always like on top of them about their grades about um not doing bad things at school and it's like i shouldn't care this is the responsibility for their older sister blanca <laughs> and for their mom and i'm not saying they don't chime in like you guys do a good job mom as a mom and you as a big sister but it's like i'm just the brother-in-law like i should just not care as much as i do but i do and i know it's a good thing right i'm not saying it's a bad yeah. thing but it's like shoot like i don't want to be like this with my son like like i always said grades don't matter but then yeah i'm telling your sisters hey if you get an f or a d for christmas break this is gonna you're gonna have consequences yeah you know? but i feel like it's different because you like you are that type of influence on them but they respect you but you're still like their bestie like they tell you more things than they tell me yeah you know? that's true i so, guess it's just like a balance yeah a really you just hard have to balance. find a balance i feel like the way that you're with my sisters is a good way 
or that's how i would like you to be with our kids obviously you're not gonna hide things from me or you're not gonna yeah. ask for their permission to tell me things but you are good in the sense that after they get all their work done you're like all right what are we gonna do are we gonna watch a movie do you guys want to go to target yeah. you know and stuff like that so i think that slowly you'll get into that but i think it's just hard when you have toddlers and babies because toddlers are freaking crackheads and and they test your patience a lot you know and for someone that doesn't have very much experience with patience it can be very hard you yeah know? but you can do certain exercises guys the other day we were at target and target was empty right yeah it was like uh it was like um What's the word for not normal? Abnormally. Abnormally. Abnormally empty for a Target, right? It was like 6 p.m. on a random Wednesday or something like yeah. that. There was like three cars in the parking lot. So the Target was empty. So Franco wanted to be a crackhead, right? And he wanted to get off the car. So he was kind of like screaming. But he knows that like me with screaming, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'll give you whatever you want. Just don't scream, you know? But I had time that day. I was like, okay, like, ahora no tengo pena. <laughs> so then he was just screaming, but like uh, like a funny scream. Like uh, like he knows, like, yeah. if I scream like this, dad's going to give me whatever he wants. So I was like, no, grite, grite, ahora sí tengo paciencia, you know? So it got to the point where he was, he's like, fuck, like, okay, screaming's not going to work. So then he was like, Papa, <laughs> what was he saying? Yeah. Papa, por like, favor. All done. All, all done. done. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, fuck. I put him down. Guys, have you ever seen that TikTok way where the Frenchie, they're like in the apartment hallway. I'm going to try to uh, send it to Ian. And then he's he's walking the Frenchie on a leash and yeah. he drops a leash. Mm -hmm. The Frenchie looks at him and then takes off. Yeah. That was exactly Franco. Yeah. He was just running craziness. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know, I think with parenting, it just comes with accepting that you have a toddler and that yeah. you were once a toddler and that everybody knows a toddler, you know? Yeah. And so, I mean, when he's running around and he like sees other people, he stops and then they it's not like they do anything no. like they're not mean or anything people just know how toddlers are so yeah being a parent is freaking hard and preparing to be a parent of two is scary so hopefully we're doing things to prepare us to set us up for success so that's going to be the main thing that's why we wanted to do the baby shower in december because after this weekend it's going to be like just family basically yeah. you know it's gonna be trying to prepare our house franco's room trying to get him to sleep in there and then waiting for baby girl to be born noemi's baby girl and then yeah like hopefully plan franco's birthday party and then wait for our baby girl but it just feels like it's going so slow and i'm glad that the baby shower is here but i just think guys that this time around i'm not stressed for the baby shower and no. I remember for Franco's, I was stressed. Yeah. I remember being so stressed because I left everything to the last minute. And you can attest to this. Like I had people, I had all our friends that flew in making my centerpieces the day before the baby yeah. shower. And this time around, I have everything ready and set. The only thing is like food, food. which can be done. I mean, fast. Like we can just book someone to cater and it's fine but like other than that i'm feeling so yeah we nice. got the salon early we got the grupo early the grupo was the first thing we got huh <laughs> yeah and then we got um decorations you're on top of it it also helps that we have an amazing friend named itza mm. she is also the ceo of it's a party. It's a party. I keep yeah. get, I pause because it used to be half and half. Yeah, previously known as half and half. But now it's it's a party. So then she's has all the connects. She's helping, and then our friends Kaylee and me are helping as well. So then it's going by so smooth. Yeah, well, Itza's doing everything for me. Like, she just sends me things, and then she just sends me an invoice, and I'm like, okay, period, queen. Like, I'll send you the money right now. Yeah, <laughs> you she's know, great. and it's so she's just amazing. Like, she, I feel like she really obviously concentrates on the party setups but i think she's slowly transitioning into being a party planner and yeah that's gonna be so amazing because if she can do everything for me i'd be great which she did do everything for me basically but mm. yeah guys i'm not stressed i'm i mean it's monday so by the time monday to monday tuesday wednesday thursday i have about four days no three days to get everything set up so we're starting today to set up the guest rooms because that's usually the thing that stresses me out the most but we have a plan which is good i think having a plan is basically the best way Babe, to we go can about just it. like spill the beans i feel like we're walking on shells because we the, it hasn't happened but yeah. let's just talk about it like it's happened okay so let's start off with who's gonna be staying at the house <gasps> i'm so excited guys i am finally meeting isael <laughs> Oh, oh we're, gonna have, we're gonna have two babies and two babies toddlers and two toddlers <gasps> and i am like you guys already know i am obsessed with 
hosting my friends super obsessed and i feel so sad because for franco's baby shower we were able to host so many friends because everyone was single nobody had kids really yet and we Living could just room, yeah we room, could literally put a and then uh -huh, we could put a inflatable. inflatable um bed anywhere and they could sleep there but now like so many people are pregnant so many people have kids so we, as much as we would have loved to host everybody we just couldn't so um we are hosting lulu and stacy we're hosting lulu i'm so excited because this is the first time that lulu's gonna come visit us and like stay with us because the last time she visited us we just left right away like they got landed and then we went to the cabin and that was it and so this time she's gonna be like here catalina's gonna be able to play with franco and that is what excites me the most franco loves kids he loves to play and i know catalina does too because when they met when franco had just started walking they were freaking crazy you know yeah, so now like that friends. they both can co communicate more oh my god it's gonna be so cute and i just cannot wait to meet isael and we know baby sj is so big now so just the fact that we get to see him because we saw him what, a month and a half ago but a month and a half is a lot like it's a huge difference for babies they grow so much so yeah we're gonna be hosting them but then on thursday we have the party set up so we're all gonna take everybody over so we can be there no one's gonna like set up we have to just be there and like make sure everything's looking good so we're gonna have so many people at our house that day do you know do you want to tell them who else is coming well like the confirmed yeah okay guys confirmed so far here's the raw star we got beauty bird and her family mm -hmm. we got uh yadira and adrian mm -hmm. we got lizzie from houston mm -hmm. lizzie and her husband his name is freaking i literally richard, seen it. I think. richard yeah his name's literally on my instagram all the time um lizzie and richard um and then there's a lot of maybes those are the fishers yeah those are the fishers who else is for sure i feel like we were naming way more the other day oh well stacy lulu i think that's for sure i can't speak for anybody else right there's now. there's another that right now it's monday guys so there's still some like i don't know some maybes but i mean it's already monday so most likely not yeah but like it's insane like i <clears throat> we obviously don't expect anybody to come for a baby shower yeah. right because it's freaking far it's booking flights it's booking hotels we know like we do it just because we would love to have everybody here we don't expect anybody to come but the fact that all these people are coming and flying in from out of town is crazy. Like, I, we could not be more happy and thankful. And just, like, having all of our loved ones at our baby shower is going to be so amazing. And just not... And it, that goes without saying, like, having all our family and our friends from Colorado there. So we just feel extremely blessed to have all these people love us mm -hmm. and our kids, you know? Yeah, I'm excited, guys, to have so many babies around the house uh i'm excited for to see friends that we haven't seen mm -hmm. i feel like i haven't hung out with lulu and el compadre in such a long time uh stacy and denny they were just here but like they're always a blast and then all our other friends you know? there's actually a special person coming do you Ooh. remember who special person from texas oh tony wait no oh. <laughs> no he, they haven't confirmed oh yeah sorry tony the twister and clara yeah they're special guests yeah, but they're special they, we don't know we forgot them guys but they're like it's because he called me so it's like he's saying like yes but like like it, we're not for sure it's like they a 95 like, the people that have confirmed are like i booked my flights we yeah. land there on so thursday at this time i guess i just leaked the maybe but there's a special person that you guys probably have no idea or would never Ooh. guess babe from texas yes her and her husband just moved to texas i just said them no i don't know who you're, you're missing one babe they just moved to texas yeah well they just moved back to texas from somewhere i don't and they have two kids babe oh my god you are so crazy babe, well anyways the, it's a surprise for jonathan too i guess but i won't say her because Why? it's gonna be special and i want it to be like revealed in the vlog Babe, I'm tripping. Babe. You, you might have thought you told me, but you I probably did didn't. I did tell you. I was like, guess who confirmed? She's a friend from a little while ago. Like, when Oh, you know who just came to mind? Who? Bere and her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, not her. <laughs> but I mean, they confirmed. Oh, they confirmed. Yes, yeah, they yeah. did. Betty. <gasps> That's the first time Betty's coming to Colorado. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so and excited. Then, babe, who? Babe, but come on. Wait. Babe. When did you tell me? Oh Texas? What part of Texas? God. Oh, I don't know where they live in Texas. They have two kids. Two kids, babe. If I say anything more, I'm going to give it away. So I'll just tell you after the podcast. Can you're, you whisper it? You're stressing me out. Can you make a letter Babe, with your Babe, oh my God. Are you serious? They confirmed? Who? I think I know who you're talking about. They confirmed? Yeah, you didn't tell me. Yes, I did. No, you. I swear to God, babe. Oh my Guys, God. Blanca's pregnancy. She has pregnancy brain. Jonathan has freaking pregnancy brain And she tries to gaslight too. me. You didn't tell me. She yes, said I did, yes. Babe. I did. Yes, I did. And it was a while ago. It was like when I f just invited her. Like I had oh, just recently God. invited her. So That's she confirmed cool. right away. Yeah. So I, mean, I, I will. Know. Yeah. I will let you guys find out in a couple of days. Oh, wait. You will probably know by now. Yeah. Wait. That's why. Why are you hiding it? Wait. Will they know by now? Because <laughs> this Thursday? the the baby shower vlog won't go up until s Saturday or Sunday. No, I know, you but they'll, see, uh, they'll see our Instagrams. <gasps> oh, well, you have to go on Instagram to follow. You have to follow me on Instagram oh my to see God, who it is. Bro, you made such a big deal <laughs> when we said we don't have to walk on eggshells for oh, anything. Oh, well, comment down below if you know who I was talking about. Okay, period. Texas, they have two kids. They're a couple. Yeah, it was hard for me to guess, but <laughs> for me, it was hard because I didn't know they had said yes. Yeah, that one's insane. I'm so excited for, for them because I haven't seen her in such a long time and I haven't met her kids. But... Yeah, guys, we're going to have a full house. We're going to have a full Colorado of, of people from every state. A full Colorado of? A full Colorado. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It's because I'm pregnant. <laughs> a full Colorado of people. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, talking about the baby shower, I was just finishing up my registry today. And it was funny because I asked you guys on Instagram. I was like, oh, what are your must-haves for your your second pregnancy? And this girl literally, like, put it perfectly. She's like, diapers and gift cards, girl. Like, that's all you need. Because really, like, all kids need are diapers and your boob, basically. And I do remember, like, for Franco's uh, baby shower, we got a bottle sterilizer. And that was so badass, right? Like, it was so cool. I was so excited to use it. But then, like, thinking about it now, like, things that you actually, actually need, like, you don't really need a sterilizer, you know? Like, no. we could just boil the bottles like we used to, you yeah. know? So, like, things that I'm just putting things on the registry that I know, like, I actually use, like, burp cloths, you know, onesies, things that I actually use every single day. But other than that i'm like damn yeah for like the second time around you really like for the first baby you're so excited and you want every single gadget there is but this time i'm like yeah with diapers and some onesies. guys if anyone wants to gift me just me because i'll be the only one using it it's a fish right it's this fish that goes on the back of the baby and it <laughs> flaps its tail like that and it's like if the baby was getting padded <laughs> have you seen those yeah <laughs> anyways oh babe i also wanted to tell them about how like we're less stressed about this but we're having way more things oh yeah we're so having we're a having shit ton of things. go ahead babe we're having a so the first thing you guys know jonathan and i are all about comfort and convenience okay oh, tell them what our comadre said the other day yeah comadre noemi shout out to you because you, it, really, I never realized you really made us feel um very seen <laughs> yeah. you know but she was like one thing i love about you guys is that you guys always put comfort and convenience as a priority like it doesn't matter how much it costs you guys will spend the extra money because it's going to be comfortable and it's going to be convenient to you well as we were parent. talking about what our um on like what our fetish money spending fetish? like what do we spend our guilty, pleasure? our guilty pleasure like what and we we're like well we don't like designer well we don't like shoes no like and then she came up with that She's like you guys spend a lot of money on comfort mm -hmm. and i was and convenience. convenience and comfort and i yeah. was like wow very That's well true. put mm -hmm. we will drop all the money in the world to have a smoother flight a smoother travel experience uh hotel anything an guys. airbnb that's like mm -hmm. suited for toddlers so with all that being said i take that into consideration when it comes to our events especially because we are blessed enough to have so many friends with kids basically for this baby shower i wanted it to be fun for the adults but fun for the kids too like i don't want to forget about them and so the first thing that i made sure i booked was a little play area for them so i booked um like a inflatable play zone for them so i have like a toddler inflatable jumping castle i have a ball pit i have little what are they called i always ask you 
the they're animals like animals where you, they can get on their squishy yeah they're like animal hoppers yeah and they that's gonna be all put around with a little fence and like padded floor so i'm like kids better be letting their parents eat letting their parents dance and play so they're gonna be like over there como se dice entertained and it's nice because a lot of toddlers like eso les llama la atención john franco if he sees a play zone with kids he's gonna be there and stay there so we booked that first and i'm still yet to ask but i'm asking my little brother he's wonderful with kids he's gonna be like the toddler police yeah so que no se salgan pa fuera que no se peleen if they poop their diaper they'll tell the parents stuff like that <laughs> because we got a grupo right but like what's the point of getting a nice grupo if the parents can't dance yeah if they can't have fun yeah. so we want like this baby shower to be like you know like a night out for parents with knowing their kids are there safe you know? yeah yeah so we definitely did that um i remember for our baby shower with franco um our parents our family very gracefully cooked all of our food which was amazing and it finished and we were so happy to have it there but that doesn't only put stress on us it puts stress on them because i know that like they have to start prepping from two days before they have to make sure that they're they're like i hate that i hate that i literally i was like no one's cooking we're catering and we're gonna go with the convenience of getting a food truck with tacos because i feel like that's so easy for parents and for guests and just for everybody just get your plate of tacos arroz frijoles and you're sitting and eating you know yeah. like that is probably the most convenient thing um that we could have gone for not only for us but like for our family as well so i just genuinely want everybody attending our baby shower to just go and have fun i don't want anybody to stress i don't want anybody to be like oh es que se me olvidó la cuchara you know like nothing so we definitely um splur are splurging on that too on the food because i know catering is an arm and a leg and what else was it babe <laughs> um the decorations the decorations were obviously putting arm a lot a of leg and arm on the leg um shout out to itza again she just sent me my mock-up and it's so beautiful i'm so excited we're gonna have a freaking christmas tree are you kidding me um so yeah we just we made sure it was gonna be a beautiful baby shower where everybody was gonna have fun no one was gonna stress and we did it one because i know we always talk about we're having more kids we don't know yes no maybe we're like if it's the last baby shower like i want it to be and it's her baby a, girl yeah and because blanca at the beginning she was very like we were like very like because we're obviously we're by default we want to save money right yeah but then i got to a point where i was like hon fuck it dinero va y viene yeah like let's make this one special and let's just make it nice you know yeah. people are coming out of state they're spending a lot of money on hotels and flights like let's make it an experience for them and also like you like i wanted blanca to be completely comfortable till like even yesterday she was like babe it's 500 dollars a lot on blah 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 blah. i'm like no babe do it just but do add it. to car <laughs> buy it like it's fun yeah. like no matter how much money it is i want you to like say you had like i don't want to be like well, if Jonathan would have let me buy this, it would have been yeah. like, no, no restrictions whatsoever, because I'm going to spend that money regardless on something else. You know, we're yeah. going to spend it. So might as well. Yeah, I think in our relationship, I'm like Jonathan's the logic one, lo logical one. So for everything, I'm like, babe, does this sound a little bit too much? Like, am I getting what do i always ask i was like am janked. i getting so, uh, janked and so he's very good about advising me on things like with money wise so of course like for our baby shower i'm like is this too much like maybe i could get this cheaper somewhere else so it would like it's just been a really smooth sailing way to plan this baby shower but yeah we're doing it it's our second kid but it's like a girl which is insane it's like we're gonna be parents for the first time all over again and yeah and you know what the most special thing about this is that it's gonna be at the same place franco's was at yeah and i think what's so fun about this is that we're going in on thursday and we're like we do not want this to look like franco's at all like if you're gonna put the tables on the other side this on the other side you know just to make her like and for her to know that she's special she's wanted and different as well you know so yeah we're so freaking excited for that there's a couple like things that i still want to get done like i remember for franco's baby shower we had conchas and those were like a party hit so i was i'm definitely gonna order those again just in a pink color it's so cute um there's like just a, th a, th a couple things that i need to do for the dessert tables and stuff but other than that i think we're ready 
and we're set in stone and we're just waiting for the day to get here yeah guys i'm so excited and i'm excited for you babe. i think we're more excited to see like all our friends and to just all be together again you mm-hmm. know because it's like the last trip of the year everyone's together celebrating a baby in colorado and then yeah yeah because then after this we don't know how like long we're gonna wait to see each other Yeah, like our friends have babies so they uh, it's hard for them to travel but then we're gonna have a baby so it's gonna be even harder for us to travel Mm -hmm. so like who knows where life takes us guys hopefully we will meet again next year in 2024 but yeah we're so excited i really hope that you guys are enjoying all the vlogs i'm glad that i can say you guys will see every single thing on youtube because we are uploading everything that we're doing and you guys will see when we pick everybody up so make sure you're staying tuned on J vlogs and my channel blanca j because everything's on there and what else babe i think that's it babe hope you guys are enjoying remember the podcast on fridays is considered part of vlogmas Mm -hmm. so if you don't see a vlog and we're also doing a lot of giveaways on our vlogmas channels guys so go ahead and make sure you view those and follow those and i'm uploading on tiktok i'm doing talk oh miss. yeah you're doing talk i'm miss. doing that daily so you can see me every single day for a minute on tiktok yeah guys but i think that was it for today anything else babe? i think that's all guys thank you guys so much for all the love i hope you guys enjoy this podcast and then that you enjoy the baby shower vlog you guys are amazing and we just thank you for loving us and loving our kids you know and we just hope that this december is going by super smooth for you guys and do you want to do a giveaway oh yeah guys comment down what should they comment they should comment wait is there a gingerbread emoji think so if you're gonna comment anything add a Let gingerbread check, emoji because how are they gonna do the giveaway without a gingerbread emoji there's a ginger <laughs> emoji maybe a cookie yeah let's do a cookie chocolate chip cookie okay comment a chocolate chip cookie for 50 bucks guys on whatever you were gonna comment we love you thank you so much for watching yet another episode and, and we'll see you next week tomorrow on our vlog channels but oh, next true. week on the podcast <laughs> later bye yay networks